especially in the gaming industry, as a female, you know, you can get much more harshly judged. You do need to like really, really know your stuff. Like you need to be f more prepared than any of your counterparts. You need to be, uh, you need to like have transcended this level. And, and, and it isn't to say that every community is like that. The community that I like work for and with is really, really great. But there's still those like toxic people out there regardless. I noticed a YouTube comment thread today where there was some dude who was just, he must have, he must have commented about 15 times he just felt like he really needed to like go in there and tear me down to as many people as possible and this was his mission from god that he like had to do this and and i'm not even exaggerating because there were I, I saw at least 15 times where he was just going and posting this and i at one point i just like commented and i was like wow you're really active in the comments section huh like good for you um and it, it's just it's just shocking to me because like i'm a 30 year old woman I've been doing this for, you know, several years now, and it's just shocking to me that, like, people have these assumptions or they they feel like they need to, to do, you know, tear people down. I, I just really don't get it. The main thing I always get mad with is skepticism. Uh, does she actually like games? Does she actually play games? You know, did somebody write what she's saying? Um, it, it's, it's all that. I think sometimes it comes down, it definitely comes down more on women than it does men. The biggest thing you can do is just ignore the negative and encourage the positive. So usually if like somebody is, is really positive to me on the internet, a comment, like a commenter or something, I try to engage them as opposed to engaging somebody that's being negative. There's a term in, in this industry that's used called white knighting, where, uh, you know, men are publicly supportive of women and stand up for them if they're being attacked. And that gets a lot of hate towards it. And it, it is the kind of thing where it's like, you don't want somebody else to have to be your beacon, somebody have to have to fight your fights for you. Um, but at the same time, there are a lot of women that are really supportive of each other. And I've I've been there and I've, I've had like other women publicly like tweet or say things in, in my defense. And it feels like, it feels good to have a friend like stand up for you regardless of their gender, you know? like. It, and it, it feels like you're not crazy uh, to think that what somebody else is saying about you anonymously even is wrong. I don't have a thick skin at all. So ev everything like gets to me and, and it's actually pretty constructive to, to, to like me of like, you know, evolving as a person because I, I feel like being able to read those and then slowly like disregarding them more and more is, is like, making me feel more confident. To be able to just look at something that's negative and just like dismiss it uh, actually is a pretty good skill to have and a, and a pretty good like measure of, of who I am, like who I am and how I feel about myself.